Okay, uh, I'll post the manual to this game, which is a part of the gameplay, in chat one more time if anyone didn't get it. Uh, there we go. And you're welcome to help me out as much as you want. So feel free if anyone wants to read the manual and see like if I'm missing something or whatever. But without further ado, here we go. It's going to be a lot of loud noises, so get ready for that. I'm just going to do normal mode. How about a gentle death? Better start somewhere, right? Discover the joy of cosmic deaths and learn how to fix your pod in dire situations. I don't forget my towel. Well, something happened at a big space station and now we're escaping in the pod. Grab and drop with the hand of your choice. Move around. Alright. Oh god, it... When I was testing this, it doesn't let me change... my... sensitivity. Okay, so we got... life support over here. I'm gonna be looking at this a lot. From what I understand, oh, here comes some loud noises. That green is what something's supposed to be, and anything else is what it currently is. So we got carbon dioxide scrubbers. So this is all. Oh, Jesus. This is my. Okay, already oxygen generator is fluctuating all over the place, so something related to that needs to be assessed. Okay, oxygen is completely offline currently. Oh God. But what is wrong with it is the question. Do not know what is wrong with it. Maybe it's the monitor itself? So, um, the breathability is still high. Okay, what are the ideal, uh, check. Okay, pressure is dropping. Nitrogen levels are below ideal. Oxygen is higher than normal that's the thing is that it it's possible for the indicator of oxygen to be wrong and not the actual oxygen levels because right now looks like they're okay so it could just be the monitor itself is broken so I think in order to fix things I have to put them into here. Repair station is empty. So let's see if... All right. Oh. Okay. Pump is low for pressure. Keep in mind, I'm very new to this. I'll try it off and on again. Let's see. Oops, not the whole button. Okay, my vision's getting blurry. That means that my oxygen is being affected. God, I'm gonna do that a lot by accident. Okay, I'm not even getting errors. Like, it's supposed to tell me what is happening. Um, let me take a look inside. And I'm very new to this, so... Power transformer. Let me try repairing the monitor itself. So if I put this in here... No repair needed? Okay, so that is not the issue. 
How are vital signs looking? CO2 is low, which is good. Oxygen's, everything is okay. That's the weird thing, is that it's reporting errors. Low pump can be damaged on the pump itself. O2 uh, looks nearly empty. Well, apparently the guide here says that that is an ideal level, right? O2 should be about 21%. It's at exactly 21. Okay, something is definitely still wrong with this. So, I think it is an air pressure problem. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, so, dirty filter, low pump, so it's something with the pressure I have to change. Pull the thing out. Filter. Wait, do I have replacement parts? Because I can't just yank this out of here. This is okay. I can refill everything. Um, okay, that's lighting. Oxygen is dropping. Um, repair. We're gonna die a lot during the stream, by the way. Just like, oh, F to clean, okay. So I don't even have to take it out. Don't think. Oh, the pump. What's wrong with the pump? Yes, hello everyone. I'm trying to read chat, but I'm also trying to learn this. Oh yeah, my vision's getting blurry. Um, low pump. System low power. Uh, I'm gonna try not to cheat and pause. Let me just try yanking the pump out. Tossing that thing in here. Okay, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna die. We are almost completely out of oxygen. What is wrong with it? Uh, it has power. Connector seems fine. Let me... Oh, is this empty? Oxygen bottle? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. So... I think... Oh, here, cause of death, hypoxia, too much O2, or CO2, not enough O2. Okay, so, but I think that's just because I ran out of oxygen, therefore there was only uh, carbon dioxide in the air. So that was just ran out of oxygen. Thanks for the follow, old and bad, silent NPC. Okay, Oxygen, uh, can you take a closer look at the air code? Oh, here, I'll post the manual in chat. You all are welcome to read the manual and help me out as all this is happening. Okay, the actual can in the module looked low, but this is based on the visuals. Duct tape could fix it. Yes, it's Apollo 13. Actual 
can have some sort of connection issue with the monitor. Right. The connector to the monitor. Oh, this is kind of loud. I'll turn it back up and start. That's true because if you have a faulty connector to the monitor itself, it will not give you accurate readings. And it wasn't showing me the correct um, messages because it should have told me what was wrong, but I was just getting a bunch of squares. Yeah, they did a really good job at this manual. Like they even have like the halftone patterns and like the flaws with like photo uh, re reproduction. Did amazing job with the manual. Control panel always fluctuates or functions perfectly. It's pretty useful. Does it? The control panel is always good. Okay, so I think what went wrong is that my I started with low oxygen in the canister and I needed to swap it out. So that that is my professional <laughs> my non-professional opinion all right go back again let's go die again it says the values panels always function even without any power and is damage proof okay i don't know what it means by parts like i feel like there's a cabinet full of parts or something that I don't know the location of. Um, service panel. Oh, that's so I can like lift myself up in the air. Oh, wait, what is this? Unlock and pull. Get ready for loud noises. Okay, so this is up here. Up here is where all of the uh, the nuclear fission, fusion, fission is happening from my power. So this is a very dangerous thing that I don't want to access unless I absolutely need to. So let's just pull it down. Take a look at it. Speaking of which. Whoops. The controls are really wonky. Okay, it seems to be an electrical problem with temperature gauge. Because the monitor is... Oh, I turned it off. Uh, okay. What is all this? Oh, this is for cooling, liquid nitrogen. So this is the heating and cooling up here. It keeps turning itself off. Is the battery low? It's not staying on. Bad fuse. Okay, so do I just repair the fuse? Or do I find a new one? Is there a storage somewhere that I'm not aware of? Oh, storage. Do I open this? It's not interactable. So if I grab something... Um, it, that's just for, like, moving around, not pulling. You think I broke the monitor when I pulled it out? Oh, here, what is this? Oh, this is... stuff for the, uh, CO2 scrubber. What... Oh, temperatures. Okay, yeah, it's getting really hot in here. All right, let me replace the fuse. Okay, 
current parts zero. Yeah, but like, where do I get parts? That's what I don't understand. Like, I'm gonna burn to death. Yeah, I can't press the button because it says required parts 50, current parts zero. Check count before starting. Dismantle? Okay, this is probably going to uh, destroy it. Okay, it's not letting me need parts. Where are parts? You'd think parts would be in storage, but I can't do anything with these. I can move around. Oh god, I'm gonna burn to death. Maybe a container beside it. Uh, these are emergency lights and main lights. We're crashing in the stuff. Yeah, everything else is going wrong. Oxygen's out. Our l air pressure, dirty filter. I can't. Re okay, so fundamentally, my problem is I don't know how to repair stuff. Um, is this just live as long as possible? Or is there an end game? Well, it counts how long you lived, but also apparently you can eventually dock in space or dock at a station or something because it allows you to open the capsule door at one point. You need to find materials, like other parts and dismantle it. Yeah, but what other parts? Like everything seems essential. Thanks for the follow, Owl209. Like, I can't just yank random stuff out of other machines and dismantle them. Hyperthermia. Overheating compared to hypo. Other spare parts, maybe, but it... But it didn't look like there were any spare parts. It's just a matter of risking scrapping something you need. Maybe? Yeah, so, I, so that's the most important thing right now, is I need to figure out how to fix things. So let's go back in. Oh, Sandbox lets you look around. Okay, let me do that. Okay, here's the main computer system. Yeah, I cleaned the air filter at least once. Power components, hole to open. Oh, there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that doesn't work here. Oh, here's like the processor. So apparently I can replace processing units and connectors at some point. Power components. 
Transformer, fuse, battery, connector. Yeah, here's the airlock that I will eventually need to go in. I can't open these storage things, so this is... CO2 scrubber, which has the fuse, battery, pump, transformer. Does this have VR support? No, it doesn't currently. Only issue I'd see with VR is trying to read this would be really hard. Like, reading text is one of the hardest things to do with a headset, in my opinion. So apparently something that can happen is that you only have error codes and no messages. Like how on the monitors, god damn it, can I just set it on the table please? Okay. Well, on these monitors it'll sometimes say like bad fuse or whatever. Sometimes if something isn't working right it'll just say error code like 34 and you have to like look up whatever that is okay so i gotta learn how to repair things yo this is sandbox why are we having problems oxygen is dropping I don't think there's a filter in oxygen here. Unless it's just the air pressure. Okay, I think that is empty. Yeah, that is empty. Oh god, we get to listen to him breathe heavily. problem though. He's gotta just wait for it to stabilize. Okay, yeah, I just had to wait for it to recover. Well, I fixed one thing. Yeah, so oxygen depletes really fast. Um, and this is not refilling right now. Okay. How do I get the oxygen tank to refill? Oxygen generator releases oxygen into the atmosphere. The green bars in the monitor, monitor indicate ideal levels. A warning, required oxygen levels vary depending on pressure. Uh, the higher the pressure, lower the ideal. Yeah, so that fresh air pressure can mess with all of that. It's important to note that excessive amount of oxygen can be a, ha a fire hazard and may cause hyperoxia. Okay, now CO2 scrubber. That's this, right? This is the recycling CO2, okay. Yeah, so you're correct that there is 
no CO2, so I cannot convert that to O2. So how do I get more CO2? Okay, yeah, because it's... Oh, this is the scrubber. Okay, so this is where it's getting the CO2 from. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it should gradually fill this up. Yeah, alright, so we're learning stuff. And I can clean the filter off. He just blows on it. Okay, so it's dangerously high right now, but it's lowering. Okay, you can stop. It's at a safe level. There we go. Okay, so learn how to do that. How are... How's everything else looking? Yeah, everything's good. Breathability is high. But we still don't know where to get parts from. So this is my gravity generator. However that works. So this has uh, extra powerful electricity related things in it. Can take a look. Generating gravi gravitron gravitons. Yeah, maybe at some point this is something I can sacrifice. So I foresee this being a constant thing, having to replace this business. Oh, that's right. I can use both of my hands to pick things up. So I can actually do dual wield canisters so now I gotta take this out there that's a more efficient way to do that like in good sci-fi space survival movie where you probably need to sacrifice non-essential stuff to make tough choices True. Maybe that actually is what I'm supposed to do, but like, what is non essential? I guess gravity is non essential because I can just grab on the stuff. Like, do I really want to just yank parts out of this thing? Because I don't want to mess with this. Atomic shield. This is where all of my power comes from. And it's extremely hot right now. So, for s the sake of science, I'll chart. I'll try turning this off and yanking stuff out. Alright, so I'm in low gravity. Uh-oh. 
Oh yeah, I can't even move around. I have to grab on the stuff. That's pretty cool. Ugh. Oh jeez. So I can see the benefit to having gravity. But it's like the only thing that I can sacrifice. So let's uh where's that alarm? Oh jeez. Okay, this is annoying. Oh wait, that alarm's coming from the power. Wow, you can really take everything out of here. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh... Let me back in. Okay. Can I take anything else? All right. Well, I gotta figure out why this is making noises. Oh my God. Artificial gravity offline, that's fine. Main generator seems to be fine, so why are you making noise? It is possible that when alert systems go bad, um, they will just randomly make noises. Like, there's caution and then there's warning. And usually when you have warning, you also have caution, but that one had no caution and only warning. So that led me to believe that it was it's just the alarm itself was having a problem. Okay, so let's see what I can get parts-wise from these uh, gravity pieces. Oh, man, this is weird. Having to rely on grabbing on the things to move. What do I get from a battery? Fifty. Wait, what? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. But how is the battery still here if I just dismantled it? This is going to take a while. Uh. Well, the start is for repairing though, right? Because it does both. It dismantles and it repairs. And it's already on. Okay, gravity is more important than I thought. This is rough.
Boy, do I love listening to loud breathing. Where'd it go? Oh my god, it fell out of my hands. Dude, you're fine. You're fine. Just hold your breath. See, this shuts off the whole machine. So apparently, I can scrap the battery. Oh god. Yeah, I let it go on too long. So it's not a matter of pushing the start button. It was seemed like it was a... Uh... It's weird. I guess parts can be taken out of something, but you still have that original thing. Oh yeah, emergency lights could be a thing that dismantled to it. It's true. It was a broken component. Okay. Oh, you just bought the game? Hey developers, I got you a purchase. FYI. Nice. Okay. Now let me try a normal mission again, since I have roughly a, an idea of what to do now. Okay. Caution buttons are worth 20 parts. It's good to know. Battery was 50. Uh, when they've been dismantled, their color is dull. Okay. So maybe I should... Should I replace the oxygen right away? Loud noise coming. Kind of a, a weird glitch with the particles. When I zoom in, it messes up the scale. So gravity and emergency light. I'll start with the light system as something to scrap from before gravity. Here I can charge batteries. Uh, CO2 is still... No, it's only like a quarter full. This is a regular mission, nothing's gone wrong yet. Okay, I guess we're out of the... Atmosphere? 
It should let me just go to sleep. Just be like, nah. I don't feel like dealing with anything. Yeah, the bed does tuck in a little bit on the side there. Clock is still ticking. do if nitrogen runs out have liquid nitrogen for cooling yeah I don't have replacement nitrogen A folding table. Here, I'll put the for anyone that's new, I'll put the PDF for the manual to this in chat if anyone wants to learn about this game. I mean, it's, it's literally the same thing I'm looking at in-game right now. All right, entering more debris. Something's gonna happen, probably. So I can't even touch anything related to the, the uh, what do they call it, nuclear Pile? Atomic pile. Oh god. Alright, now we got something to do. That's a new sound. I'll do this first. Power. Okay. So... I need to get... Some stuff. Uh, kind of wish that wasn't quite as loud. I mean, it's intense. No, 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 no. Oh, stop. Stop. Don't want to do that. I have to turn it off first. Oh, what? I turned it off! What the hell? It's off. Why am I getting electrocuted? I have to pull the battery out first? Okay, let's just do this. Get some parts. Dismantle. Okay. So now this is faulty. Uh... Take this. Oh god. Uh... uh let me... Swap. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to you in a sec. Repair in progress. Oh, CO2.
Yeah, the order that you take stuff out of devices is important, apparently. So, battery first. And then take other stuff. Wait, so I wonder if this battery is just fundamentally broken now, or can I recharge it? Uh-oh. No, it can't be charged. I know the charger um, uses a lot of electricity. What's wrong? Filter. The alarm is broken. <laughs> and high CO2. Why is there high CO2 though? It's not... Oh, there is! Holy crap. Why though? Because of the filter? Is it stable? Okay, it's stabilizing. Wow, the filter can have a big effect. learned that. Yeah, I know about the filters. I just didn't know the CO2 had one. I thought it was only the pressure. Wait, speaking of which. Why is it so dusty in here? Like, how come oxygen doesn't have a filter? I guess because a scrubber is pulling air in, whereas the oxygen is only pushing air out. I want to change my mouse sensitivity, but I guess they don't have an options menu. Because <laughs> I have a tiny little space to move my mouse, and I'm tired of just... <sighs> slide chunk, slide chunk. I like putting my sensitivity extremely high, so I barely have to move my hand to whip around the screen. Everything's stable again. Can I repair the battery after it's been dismantled? Can I increase the DPI of the mouse? I'm using a... Microsoft Explorer mouse from like 2006. I really like it. Uh, it's three button mouse. It's a red optical mouse. I can, it's not a uh, uh, laser mouse. Oh, we got the bot back here again. Um, so no, I cannot change my DPI. Man, this game is easy. Speaking of that, gotta swap oxygen. don't think I can repair the battery again because, yeah, it needs more parts than I have. So emergency lights will just be my parts storage. So what does it look like when I turn the lights off? Let's see. Uh, okay, it gets really dark. Good to know. But when I turn the power out, it will... Everything will start using battery power.
Yeah, so there's a battery in the bottom left corner, which is my flashlight power. It just recharges on its own, I'm pretty sure. See, look, it's draining, and then I'll turn it off. Yeah, and it goes back up. It's like Half-Life 1's... Um... Half-Life 1's flashlight. Okay. Oh yeah, twos also did that. Ice nebula detected. Beware of cold atomic pile. Okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta be checking this thing too. Alright, well, here comes a lot of cold. So I assume... That, that uh, this is going to become more important because it's going... Oh, yeah. It's going to start warming everything. Whoa. Oh. Okay, my generator is not able to generate when it's this cold. Okay, uh... How do I fix that? I can't make it generate faster. I don't... There's really no options to mess with this. Remove the shield? Uh, no. I think that would cause me to become irradiated. Maybe this is just a thing you just have to bear with. Like, you don't actually fix it, you just wait until it's done. Because main generator is offline. It says artificial gravity is offline, but I'm still walking, so I think the monitor itself might be broken. Is battery use power draining? No. Oxygen. I think the monitors might be lying to me. Getting lower? I think I've reached as low as it can go. is broken because it should at least say errors like the title so maybe I'll try fixing the monitor doesn't need repair okay never mind because you'd think it would at least be warning me that some weird stuff is happening 
Uh, gravity just disabled. So I think it is constantly dropping. Wait, where where's the Just got an achievement. Oh, now it's going back up. So yeah, I think you just had to just deal with it. You can't actually fix that problem. So everything went into low power. Now the lights are back on. Huh. Okay, well good to know. should have a like goofy little like mini game that you play on like a device while you're waiting for bad things to happen. I mean that's kind of like a interesting like, like allegory for life. You're just sitting around playing games waiting for bad things to happen. Like you get too old, you die, you get just sitting around waiting for bad things to happen. So thanks for the follow, Sugar Veins. Yeah, everything is stabilized. So, how long does it take to get to safety? Yeah, there's certain things that will fail um, given conditions. Like if the overall temperature gets too high in here, electronics will all fail in all devices. So it's like things have bigger effects on one another. Is my dead end? Hmm? Oh, batteries are getting low. That's a new thing. Oh, yeah, when I was going through that nebula or whatever that... Everything was using battery power, so now I don't have as much backup power. Uh, but the thing is, is that all the power cuts out when I charge a battery. So I'm effectively lowering all of the batteries on the entire capsule in order to charge one battery. Oh, but I... 
how long does it take to charge? Because oxygen generation will have to go offline for me to switch the battery. kind of want to win this one. Don't want to take a huge risk and like just yank it out of here. Uh, and I ruined my extra battery. This one. So this one doesn't work. Could take it from gravity, but I don't know if I want to do that. All right, something bad's gonna happen. Am I entering an atmosphere maybe? No. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Uh, low oxygen. Okay, so the pump was damaged. Where's the pump? Oh no, it needs way more than I have. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh my god, go in. Gotta scrap some more things. Jesus. Yeah, 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 hold up. Oh god, go faster, 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 faster. Faster, faster, faster! <laughs> oh god, that is not gonna go on time. I don't have a replacement pump! Well, shit. Wait, 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 wait. I do have a replacement. There we go, saved. Oops. Break it. I just got to replace this. Now, there we go. That was genius right there. Uh, I do need to swap these. I'm gonna wait till that oxygen is more full before swapping this. I mean, I don't... I don't think I'll need to get all of the batteries refilled. Like, here, let me just make sure I scrapped everything in the emergency lights. I don't like how the broken part just hangs around though, because that's definitely gonna get confusing. Unless I can do something with it.
Well, I guess now that everything is out, I can put it back in. So 68 parts. No, this is uh, just regular mode. I'm not doing hardcore yet. So I wonder what it's cautioning me about. Oh, maybe that the canister is getting low. Is that done yet? Oh, it is. Try charging one of the batteries. Um, since this one is full, I'll swap with the oxygen since this is like the most critical. Wait, let me start with this one. Oh god. Yeah, that really drains the power. Like everything. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. I just gotta make sure that I don't have that happen at the same time as anything else bad happening. I don't think the other batteries are drained when you're charging one. It seems like, or it seems to only change the lights and turn off gravity, okay. Well, I might as well do the other ones. Oops. Go, 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 go. Electromagnetic. So my power is going to be messed with. Fuse. Okay, that's good to know. Um, wait, this uses a special fuse, high capacity. Well, that's cool. Too bad I don't have emergency lights. <laughs> um, so it uses high capacity, so. Let me grab this open. Where? 
where is the... Uh, where's the high capacity fuse? Uh, oh, it's up there. Oh, it's going to stay off, I think, because I'm in the storm. Great. Well, I can't use anything. Everything is off. Oh, because the storm must... Well, that... That seems unfair. All batteries are dead and my generator's dead when I'm in the storm, so is there literally nothing I can do? I hate listening to breathing. I wish they'd make that sound not so loud. Okay, I get it. You're dying. Don't be so dramatic. Oh, maybe I'm out of the storm. I have to turn it back on. Okay. Put everything in place. How? Why isn't it starting up? All electrical system turned on must take a discharge. What does that mean? Take a discharge? Do I have to like pull the batteries out and put them back in again? I couldn't figure out how to get the reactor back on. Like how you turn off all the electronics when there's a risk of a power surge. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe the, uh, when I see that the storm is coming, I'm supposed to yank the batteries out of everything to stop it from, like, overcharging all the batteries, maybe? Or whatever it did to destroy them because the repair thing was broken too so I couldn't repair the batteries so do I this music is kind of loud so maybe the first thing I should do when a storm is coming is go over to the repair box and pull its battery out you just have to turn everything off and wait well, but then the storm was over, and I couldn't get the the reactor back on. Like, why wasn't the reactor turning back on? I replaced its fuse. That's what was confusing to me. But that... Another thing I'm confused about is, in the storm, is it actually breaking the electronics, or is it just temporarily disabling them? Because even when I was out of the storm, everything was still broken, so I feel like it just fried everything. But if it, if it fries 
the repair unit as well, then I have no chance of recovering because everything is broken. Wait for the storm to pass or just turn on a balanced O2 or CO2 system. But, but nothing was turning back on though. So how can I just turn on a system if it's like permanently broken? I mean, I know I'm misunderstanding something. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, it seems to me like it actually just broke things. So maybe what I have to do is when I see that a storm's coming, I have to go and turn the reactor off. Why am I dead? Because I ran out of oxygen. Um, so do I have to actually push the off button on every device or can I just turn the reactor off which would in turn turn everything else off? Is that and then I just sit and wait and like literally hold my breath. You have to turn off all the devices. Turn off the devices because you have batteries. Well, even the batteries were dead though. I opened up the devices and they had no charges left. It was like the batteries were all damaged. Because the battery will keep some devices on. Well, they were all empty, even though I replaced them earlier. Okay, so I think what's happening is that if power is still on and I hit the storm, everything gets overcharged and damaged. So I have to, when I see the storms coming, I have to turn everything off to prevent the batteries from getting damaged so that I can turn them on again once I'm out of the storm. Is there a wind condition to the game? I think so, I just haven't gotten to it yet because there's an airlock thing that I can go through. Okay. I'll do one more normal one before I attempt hardcore. Also, for anyone just joining, uh, here's the manual to the game I'm putting in chat. It's the same one I'm using in the game. And the manual is like a critical part of the gameplay. Just turn everything off one by one, then you can switch on a single system for O2 or whatever just after the lightning bolt. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna check something real quick before I start. Good. Checking thing. Uh, you switch on a single system for O2 to the lane, will then turn it on after before the next. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just when I when it says a storm is coming, I'm just gonna push the off button on everything, stop them from getting damaged.
Yeah, I like the amount of detail put into all the 3D models. That really shows the attention to detail, really shows who the game. Cool. I love these little monitors. Here we go, loud noises. Really want, really want a uh, mouse sensitivity option because apparently the options menu is broken. Okay, what was that noise? What, what was alerting me? Oh, battery's already low on the repair thing? Okay. Oh. Uh... This doesn't have a status monitor on it, so I don't really know when something's wrong with it. Oh. Wait. Pressure? His oxygen is getting way too high. Something wrong with this? Pressure is dropping. Um. But what do I... Hmm. Well, the repair thing has a problem. Like, the main monitor here... Oh no, repair station's fine. What's the... It's temperature? No? Oh, something's wrong here. No? Looks like it's generating more power than it needs to. Unless I'm misreading that. Yeah, this... This is a little off. Hmm. Oxygen... Uh... Oh, the... Something's wrong with the scrubber, I think, because it's not... Oh, no, I know there's... Uh, it's too much oxygen. Well, now it's... Going down. Oh, Jesus. Wait, 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 no, this isn't the issue. I don't know what's wrong! Okay, so there is something wrong with the oxygen. I just don't know what. Uh, all bad power. Oh, there. That's it's too hot. Okay, hold up. Why is gravity? Oh no, gravity's fine. I'm just dying. Oh god damn it! Forgot about this. Take the battery. No, no, that's not what I clicked. God damn it. Uh. Okay, so I think what happened is, well, the transistor, whatever thing, not transistor, whatever that it's called, was overheating. Because it looked like my generator was making more power than it needed to, so it was putting, like, too much heat on it, so the thing broke. 
So that's what I had to fix. Okay, let me try again. Well, no, I've pushed the power off before, before grabbing things, and it still electrocuted me. I had to, like, pull the battery out to make it not electrocute. I think you just have to do it in a certain order. Should do this in a <laughs> specific order. Prevent bad things from happening like that. No, uh-oh. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Oh. That's not good. Because... Oh, oxygen's fucked again? Good lord. Okay, similar deal the last time. I pulled the battery out! Oh, it's using the system power, that's why. Ah, fuck you! I wish you could just not do that. Off! Okay, on. Fuse is bad now, too? Please. Alarms are bad, apparently. Whatever, I'll leave that. Oh, jeez. Okay, CO2 is completely saturated. Oh, that was the one I needed to replace. God damn it. Uh... Dropping? No, it's still increasing. What else is wrong? Uh. Okay, it's. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I turned you off! Why is this still... Yeah, I know it's high CO2, but I fixed everything. What else is wrong with it? Canister's empty. It's still increasing. The CO2 tank valve? Oh. I didn't even know that was a thing. 
And now I'm gonna die. So the canister itself was broken. That was the issue, huh? Oh, I see you're all saying it's broken. Yeah, I have chat on my other monitor, so if I'm trying to do something in here and look at chat... I mean, I know that this the whole unit was broken. It wasn't that I was ignoring it. I thought I had to stabilize the pressure because it said that the oxygen and the CO2 are all affected by problems with the pressure, so I was starting there, but I didn't know that the valve on the canister itself could break. So that was what was new to me. Well, good to know. Oh, so when I, when the canister dropped to the ground out of my hands, is that what made it break? I didn't even know that was a possibility. I mean, do you know that as a fact, or are we just guessing? What's probably going to happen again here in a second? Well, that didn't need to be swapped. Wonder if you, when something sparks, um, if that is an indicator of what just took damage. For the raid, Savage. Welcome. No! God, I hate that. Okay, uh... I should get this ready so it's not a panic when I need it. I should 
scrap these right away, because if I need to replace the transformer, uh, I'll, I can use this as an extra or a fuse. I think I'll just wait and see. Wait, you can, I can select things through the wall? I don't feel like you should be able to do that. Alright, see you later, Cole. Thanks for the help. Forever get those keys mixed up. Low pump. I should have charged the battery before scrapping, apparently, to get more parts. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense, but sure. Oh, this is damaged too? Repair needed. Are you what? Uh, what's something that has a pump in it that I here? This one needs repairs, but I don't have enough parts. Yeah, yeah, hold up. Oh god, it's gonna take a while. of the repair. Oh, 
all that. That was a waste. I didn't even. It's fine. Wait, wait. I see your Morse code. There should be spaces between those three letters if you're doing SOS. If it's all mashed together like that, it might not be recognized. do I do with all these broken things? I need to repair the pump over here. Oh yeah, this isn't even going because the pump is broken. Uh, I'll have to sacrifice this, I guess, to get that thing repaired. Oh, thanks for the follow. A yo ball, a yo balls here. don't have the means to get more parts I've used all of those I mean I could do the gravity thing everything else is essential I mean I guess I could scrap warning lights <laughs> is good to know. Uh... Wait. Doesn't seem to be bad enough of a problem to try to deal with right now. The bad transformer. And this uses like an advanced one. Ice Nebula. Okay. Well, here we go. If I could just leave all these things down like this, I don't think it'd be a problem. The Ice Nebula, it just... We stop generating power for a while.
turn off the cooling system. Well, it's both heating and cooling, right? Shouldn't I have it on so that it can heat? Reactor will heal or will heat stuff naturally. I should turn off non emergency systems. Yeah, that's good advice. So that way we have a buffer for um, vital systems like the oxygen and CO2. Life support. Turn off the microwave. Uh Well, I turned the repair machine off. Yeah. I could fling myself. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, can you turn the battery charger off? I just have to like yank the power out of it? Oh, the power is inside it. Okay, I didn't know that. Gotta get used to moving around in low gravity. Uh, turn on the system now. The. Where is it? System is partially on battery, okay.
maybe it was at some point. I think the power is normalized. Uh, where? Where's the thing? Yeah, things are back to normal, so I think turn gravity back on. <laughs> oh, CO two is getting really high. going on over here? Oh, filter. Just had the blow on it. When the batteries are a little bit low, I don't think it's worth charging them. Charges the cooling system battery and others as well. Just woke up a bunch of people.
I know that sound is so loud. Okay, what's getting damaged here? Oh, that's right. You have to deal with that eventually. Transformer on the reactor is bad, apparently. more spare parts though. I've already scrapped so many things. I guess I have to start scrapping the battery backup on stuff. if this is actually bad this it should not be working at all if it's actually bad right I don't know maybe it's the monitor Is this not working? I don't see it, the line moving at all. Maybe check and see if there's a broken piece. I think the pump is actually broken because it was letting me fix it. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to scrap a battery. Pretty sure. In order to fix that. So I'll take the battery from this. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot else to say. 
We'll sit here in silence until we hear an extremely loud smack on the side of the capsule. We'll wake everyone up. I guess it was broken. Yeah, it's like a uh, like a toaster oven or something. Well, I see why you call it a microwave now. Ding, ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. somewhere to put things that are broken besides just on the floor. I guess that works. Just throw everything out the window. Yeah, I'll just open the airlock real quick, toss it out there. Actually, it's not even an airlock, I don't think. It's just a door. stuff off uh. wait whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess even the generator everything So do I have to wait until it's over? Because I'm going to suffocate. Oh wait, wait, I think I can turn it back on. No, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, because the batteries are preserved this time. God, I just have to helplessly stare at this. <laughs> yeah, I just pu pull the oxygen tank out and just like suck on the valve of the tank to breathe. Too much CO2. So I absolutely cannot turn this back on. It sounds like it. I have to wait. Because I don't want to die. Just for a short time. Main computer's offline, <clears throat> so I can't see what's wrong. Great. Well, it's dropping, so it's doing something. Oh, 
Yikes. Using a lot of battery power right now. Oh, God. What? Wow, that was like instantaneous hypothermia. Amazing. <laughs> Would have been nice to have a little warning like, hey, you're freezing, not just boom, frozen. Yeah, this he just needed to chill for a moment. <sighs> Alright, well now I'm curious to see what hardcore is like because you gotta wait a long time like rounds last a very long time um okay well let's see what this is like All right, we already got a collision coming. Get ready for boom. Okay, so I think something with the pressure just got messed up. No? So how come I suddenly need way more oxygen? Pressure's fine. So now it's not giving me a clear error. Okay, that's got to be the monitor itself. Maybe it's connector. fix that. It's giving false errors. Yeah, hold on. 
more damage the monitor is, the more the screen will shut down intermittently. Oh, that's the generator doing that. Okay, what's up? Uh, well, it's producing way more power than it needs to. Okay, it's a real problem because it didn't shut off when I told it to. Bad fuse. Uh Where does it go? There. Oh god, it's getting really hot in here. Cool. You need to chill. Come on, why aren't you cooling? I don't know how you stop it from overheating. Yeah, these are some sick beats though. Oh, here. Oh god, everything's overheating. Wait, you can't be broken. You need to repair. Well, everything's gonna keep overheating because this this thing. Oh my god! It's almost a hundred degrees in here. Bad switch. Yeah, all of the transformers are overheating like crazy. So I think fundamentally it's a problem with the generator, which I can't tell what's wrong with it because everything is glitchy. I don't know how to fix the glitches. Just have to let it cool down. Yeah, this... Open the door, let a breeze get in here and cool everything down. But look at those errors. Holy crap. Holy crap, Lois. Are we cool? Okay. We are cool. Let's touch this burning hot transformer.
yeah, everything overheating really caused some problems. Just a couple. Okay, those should be fine. Oh god. Okay, this thing is bad too. I turned it off! It's off, please. Bad fuse, please. No, Nebula, you're gonna have to wait. I don't have time for you. Bad switch? Or am I getting Joy-Con drift? Oh, for crying out loud. Every, uh, everything's overheating again. God damn it, I'm gonna burn up. Wait, how am I overheating and it's freezing? Maybe this was a uh, a blessing in disguise because now everything's gonna cool. Ah, can't grab the handles. Come on. I don't know what's wrong with these. I know, yeah, Nebula is not allowed to cause problems without my consent.
just out of parts again. That's the problem here. There's a lot of things I need to replace. Uh, air quality's dropping. Yeah, there's no alarms, but I'm dying. I'm just gonna silently die instead of dying in style. What else can I scrap? Let's see. The no gravity thing is so frustrating. Oh no, put that back on. No, 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 no. Great. Accidentally pulled the shielding off of the fucking uh, reactor. Put the shielding back on. Why do you keep dropping it? Where'd it go? And my flashlight runs out. So I can definitely see why this is hardcore mode, because I'm not ready for this. And just listening to someone breathe heavy over and over again is more torturous than the alarm sounds to me. can't get over to the power button. Oh, it, it's still on. Well then, what? what's the deal? I survived? Wait, it says I dead. Oh, wait. I'm dead, but I survived 15 minutes and 53 seconds. Cool. Yikes. Hmm. Oh, thanks for the follow. Owliet. I'm afraid to look at what the high scores are. Let's see, leaderboard. A hundred forty three minutes. What? which is over two hours. How could you sit in hardcore mode for two hours? Uh, Black Barrow, are you on this high score list? actually kind of grim looking through a list of people and it talks about all the ways that they died 
hyperthermia, hypothermia, overpressure, hypoxia, hypoxia, hypothermia, hypothermia. Wait, wonder if I'm on here. I am. One deaths, 15 minutes, 53 seconds. Pod condition, 84%. I'm 304th place. I didn't even know that many people played this game. Guess that means you can't beat the game? Well, this is a special mode. I feel like... Maybe... Doing the regular mode has an ending? Because, like, why else would they give you the airlock? Just as a joke? Speaking of which, I want to just open the airlock and see what happens. I'm going to do it. Whoa. What is up with the game? Okay, there. Alright. Time to die. Time to die. 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 Time to die. It's time to die. Here we go. Use scroll wheel to open and close. What? Why scroll wheel? Oh. That's glitchy as hell. Uh... Okay, not quite what I was expecting to happen. I thought you would just die instantly, so I could just sit here with the capsule door open? No problem? Like, what is this affecting? Well, let me turn this back up. Oh, that's cool. Like, could this actually be used strategically somehow? I guess if you accidentally... <laughs> oh, I die from too much CO2, of all things. I Yeah, I guess if you somehow accidentally overpressurize the capsule, you could just immediately depressurize it. But I feel like that would have, like, terminal effects on your lungs and your body as a whole to just suddenly depressurize like that. Which it reminds me of, uh, speaking of death from pressure, is that one of the most dangerous professions in the world, wait, why? Why is the music stopped? I think I glitched the music. I glitched it. Weird. Um, yeah, one of the most dangerous jobs in the world is apparently a underwater pipeline welder. It has like the highest mortality rate of like any other profession and it's usually because if you make a mistake when dealing with um you know extreme amounts of pressure of like water pressure underwater and then the pressure difference between the inside of a gigantic pipe and all that is like deadly and so many people when they make a mistake with it your body just gets absolutely mangled because of the pressure difference it just like rips your skin out. Um, and yeah, when you're welding underwater and everything too, it's, I mean, you're dealing with like spark welders or whatever, which are dangerous on their own. 
yeah i just anything water related i am not a fan of like i can barely swim to begin with which is weird considering i live in a state known for its bodies of water Are links allowed? Yeah, you can post what you want. As long as it's not like porn or something. Oh, is it that one video that talks about the dangers of the pipeline welder people? Or is it the crab getting sucked? Getting sucked into a pipe. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I won't show it on stream, but it just details all of the... A, a real case of somebody dying, doing the job we were just talking about. You're always put in the beginner swimming class in school because I don't like putting my head underwater. Oh, let me tell you stories about traumatizing... Uh, childhood things related to swimming is that like everyone else in my class just loved swimming and they're all really good at it because like in Minnesota it's so common for people to have cabins up by lakes so everyone knows how to swim people have boats and like swimming is a big part of the culture here but I just never really cared about swimming I went through classes but I wasn't very good at it so I didn't really enjoy it. I mean, if I have a whole mask on and stuff, I can enjoy it a little bit more, but I'm still not very good. But yeah, so we had, um, my high school had a pool, a pool, big swimming pool. So everyone in middle school was required, because the high school and middle school were the same building, <clears throat> were required to take swimming classes. And of course, you know, middle school, Everyone has like the worst self-esteem ever because your body's doing freaky things. So we're all, you know, having to wear swimsuits in front of other people. And I had to um, do a trial at the beginning of the class where we had to alone swim across. I just realized my mic is really loud. Uh, in front of everyone, one person at a time had to just swim across the pool to show your swimming abilities in front of the teacher so they could gauge who needs help for whatever, or, you know, who's bad. So everyone's just like, oh yeah, just swim across, swim across, swim across. And then I was just struggling to swim. I'm like 13 or something at the time. And everyone's looking at me and I'm clearly struggling to swim. And the teacher is just like, no, you can stop. And then I just like stopped halfway through the middle of the pool and they took me out. So then for the, the rest of, we had trimesters instead of semester. Rest of the trimester, uh, I had to have my own special side of the pool that was just me. So everyone would get their own lessons. And then there was me on the like shallow end of the pool. So I've always, it's like in the shame corner for months. And I hated the way I looked. I hated my body. I hated my inability to swim. I had really no close friends or anything in middle school. Middle school was a nightmare. It was like the worst, one of the worst parts of my life for like my own mental health. It was so terrible. And, uh, and it was all because of swimming. <laughs> and then my parents, you know, realize that I am struggling and they know that I just absolutely hated it. So they tried putting me into some special classes at a different school entirely to get like one-on-one -on -one classes. And I'm in a sharing the pool, you know, me like 14 or something at the time, sharing the pool with a bunch of like eight year olds who are learning to swim. And here's me, the old guy who can't even do it. But I'm like really skinny and I just don't float at all too. Like my dad, my dad's side of the family were all very thin people and almost nobody can swim very well in his side of the family either. I just, I don't float. I just like sink to the ground every time I try. But anyway, yeah, it was, I just hate it. 
And also, my nose is really sensitive, so if I put my head underwater without something plugging my nose, I just start sneezing, and then I instinctively inhale when you sneeze, so I'll just, like, against my own will, my body just inhales water as soon as I get water in my nose. So I cannot put my head under water. Um, I mean, it's not instantaneous, but it's a high likelihood. Like, I feel my nose tingling like crazy when I have my head under water. Oh. And I live right next to the Mississippi River. But I don't think I'll ever have to swim in it because that's extremely dangerous because it's part of the river where it is has really powerful current. And since they're already being depressing, this river, this part of the river has a really high like suicide rate because a lot of people jump off bridges in this area because they know the river will just kill you and they do. So I would never like willingly go into the river because it's, the current is way too strong. And it gets extremely cold. When you were taking swimming classes in middle school, you forgot your swimsuit, so the teacher gave you a Speedo to wear. Oh God. It's like you're, you have enough self-esteem problems as it is just being a, you know, pre-teen in middle school. And then you have to wear a skin-tight swimsuit to just make it even worse. And that was so horrible too, because like I was so ashamed of my body and everything. And we're everyone's like changing in the locker room. It's like, I don't want people to look at me. Like, uh. And then the teacher would like make fun of kids that would try to change in the bathroom stall. And like... Ugh. School sucks. Maybe they've gotten better these days. Maybe they're more sensitive to sensitive people like myself. I mean, the teacher wouldn't come out and mock you for it, but they're just like, we don't want anyone changing in the bathroom stalls. Just change by your locker. That's what everyone else is doing. Um, so this game is really stressful, but it's really cool at the same time, as I'm sure you're all watching. So I like the concept behind this. I really hope it continues to be worked on more. And if anyone's interested, I'll put a link to the Steam page uh, in the chat. And you know, it's called Tin Can. It just released in early access a couple days ago. Actually, I think last week. Yeah, a week ago. And it's being made by like one or two people, I think. And I think they're French developers. It's like on the main menu, there's English or French options. And their names on the website have like crazy accents in them, so I think it's French. I don't know. Yeah, my high school and middle school were the same building, and they were uh, mirror images of one another. It was so strange. Like, I had to rethink my whole reception of the layout of the school because now it's all mirrored when I got into high school but the middle school had the pool pool, and then the high school had the auditorium which is where we had theater productions and band concerts and stuff and right in the middle was a TV studio which I really wish I would have utilized more because we had a TV program. <clears throat> so we had an actual studio to be able to broadcast <clears throat> within the school. And I took a 
fake version of the class that let you be a part of like television production and i remember i was still really uh shy at the time and i had to uh, we had to like pick different roles on the team people are like oh yeah i'll i'll work the camera and then people wanted to be the anchor people and all of that and i was originally just going to be a graphics person i was going to make visual overlays for our like mock tv show but then the teacher was like okay well we we have one last very important position that someone has to have and it's the floor director which is like the person that pulls everything together and gives everyone orders and like follows a script and has to communicate constantly and then I really shy, um, well, this was high school, so I was a little less shy, but me volunteers to do the floor director position and it actually ended up being amazing. Like I did it so well and it was a lot of fun. There was a loud airplane going over. So yeah, it was like I had a headset on and I was like watching the script of the whole production and I was like giving hand signals to the camera people and communicating to someone who was behind the desk by the anchor people and it was cool. You hated TV production class? Oh, that was really awesome. You had friends in the water polo? Team, I always hear that water polo is just like a brutal sport. Like it's physically very demanding. Um, okay, I'm gonna play some Mirror's Edge music quietly while I figure out what else I should do. Cause I'm not quite tired enough to shut the stream off.